one pop. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? You can try it too Yuck! if you. Pretty good at this. You guys are working way too hard. Always looking to one up us, aren't you? Seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? So, are we doing this? Order of the Stone, let's get dangerous. Danger! Danger! After we all yelled danger, I got a little nervous, but this place is empty. There isn't even any treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. Hi, Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free, I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read, like, a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's Temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Hey, I wasn't scared. Wow, yeah, that feels like it was, I don't know, a million years ago. We packed a lot in since then. And to think... That was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought winter storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. Bingo! All right, let's see what we've got. Could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's
What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. Looks like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Yeah, so let's use the redstone wrap. Obviously. Uh, I think you mean the warrior whip. Obviously. Oh, come on. It was my idea. Let's do the grief for grab. Olivia, prep the redstone wrap. Nearly there. Okay, activate it now. <laughs> Good job, Jesse. Worked perfectly. Whoa, you so gotta teach me how to make one of those. Yeah, pretty spectacular. Oh, all these mobs, where does it end? I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Sorry, but who are you again? Oh, I get it. The Order of the Stone is so fancy that they don't even recognize us anymore. Even though we used to wipe the floors with you guys every building competition. So what are you Ocelots doing here anyway? The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Huh. Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! 
Mm, no. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Lucas left us to risk his neck and save you guys, and this is how you talk about him? You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Place Rod. No shame in being second-rate eight. Not everyone can do what the Order of the Stone can. <laughs> well, that's, that's just what I expect from someone as small-minded as you, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? Go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too! So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it from you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! You don't touch me! <gasps> Some hero you are, Jesse. I'm gonna take you down, Aiden, I promise. Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze Rod! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you going to do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Hopefully Ivor can tell us more about it. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Come on, Aiden's just jealous. Isn't that obvious? He sees us with our fancy armor, cool treasure, and he wishes he had it too. I guess so. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! <laughs> yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. Sure, that means it's time to party! Yeah, Jesse, you're my favorite order member. Welcome back! Well, uh, maybe next time. <laughs> that wasn't. A Happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. While still doing the whole barfing lava thing. Yeesh. Talk about eyesores, that thing's hideous. Yeah, if beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, that's one beholder with serious eye problems. Not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. 
Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! Man, Ivor, this is really cool. Why, thank you, Jesse. So good to finally see someone with some vision. Jesse, seriously? You can't let him keep this up. Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! Shut up! Ivor, I like building as much as the next person, but there have to be rules. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Ivor obviously put a lot of work into his new house. We need to show it the same respect that we would show a house not dripping with lava. Believe it. I'm sure we can find a way to work around it, okay? Long live my lava house. Long live lava! Thanks, Jesse! That's right. Keep walking. Keep walking! Always nice to see a gracious winner. Ha uh ha! -huh. Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you, Jesse? Actually, I was hoping you could help me with something. We found something out in the jungle. What? You did? <laughs> yes! Great to see you again! Let's do lunch! I'll bring the carrots! There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're going to keep that thing up, we should at least encase the lava in some glass to make it safer. But, like, not too safe. Come on, help me collect some sand. And you can make sure that when we make it into glass, it's the right amount of safe. Okay. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we make sure this art gets the respect it deserves. Right, what he said. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> you stay out of trouble. Good one. Thanks. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. guys are back. How, uh, <laughs> how's it going? Lucas, really, it's great to see you again. Why are you here? Just admiring your treasure room. Jesse, listen, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. The last time we saw each other with the ocelots and the wither storm and everything, I'm not happy about how things went down, and, well, I want to patch things up. I'm tired of us not talking to each other, so... I'm sorry. We both made mistakes, Lucas. It wasn't just you. Yeah. It's a relief to hear you say that. It's so cool you came back. It's, uh... <laughs> feels good to be back. Oh, wow. You... framed it. I'm... Him. Yeah. How are you doing? I still feel guilty about it. Every time I see another pig, all I can think about is how Reuben died because I put him in danger. He didn't die in some accident, Jesse. He sacrificed himself. He was a hero. Yeah, doesn't make me feel any less guilty, though. <sighs> okay, guys. I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh, I hate that guy. Whatever you said or did, it really got to him. Oh, great. And what did he have to say? Apparently someone told him about Ivor giving you a tip, some kind of treasure. He really wanted to find it first. 
Ha! Beat him. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot, the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Yeah, when we saw him, he kind of freaked me out. You know, making crazy threats, knocking his own gang around. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Oh! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... That you're actually holding this! I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse, that's not just some sort of enchantment! That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. Wow, so that temple we went to? Was that built by these old builders? That's my suspicion. But it's what's inside the temple that interests me even more! You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource! What a beautiful sight! Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. More powerful artifacts, huh? Wow, so is this Eversource thing valuable? Valuable doesn't even tell the half of it, Jesse! Okay, I'm interested. The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power, possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place! Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. Wait, like the temple we just got back from? We have to go back there? Yes! Luckily, you already know the way. He does have a point. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off. Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but... Ugh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Oh, come on. He's super funny, and he makes me laugh. I guess... These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> it just... really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. sure that's possible. What? She means that you just seem to be super excited, Ivor. You look excited, Ivor. Excited? I'm ecstatic. Thrilled. Overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you, Jesse. I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. Well, that wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. 
So you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. As the story goes, the old builders feared its potential. So they hid it away in a place where it would Well, that seems back. promising. And ha! It never has... Jesse! What do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. Spectacular. That's a weird-looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. You're pretty easy to follow, you know that? Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. Should we go back for Axel and Olivia? There's no time, Jesse. We can't let Aiden get the Eversource first. I don't usually like agreeing with Ivor, but he's got a point. Who knows what kind of trouble Aiden could be causing in there? Yeah, I guess you're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, Don't worry, I've got you! Oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh, the proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much! There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you, thank you! Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. I'm liking you better by the minute, Louie. That, right there. Big floating island on the horizon. Oh, wow. I'm really surprised I didn't notice that sooner. A city in the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're going to reach it. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Can't we just, like, build our way over? Uh, how? Oh, please! You've heard of a bridge, haven't you? I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. Yes. Very astute, Lucas. This island is definitely big enough. Really? Yeah, if we dig up this entire island, we should have enough to get us over there. Pushing. I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, 
Seriously? <laughs> Sorry. Can't help myself. You're building. I... you... I... I, I don't... Hey, yeah, we're building. Is something wrong with that? I, uh, uh, you don't know? Y you, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense. Okay, I'll bite. Why is building against the law? Oh, uh, th this is making me terribly nervous. But, uh, first those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, 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 come back. I'm super busy, sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that... nervous. <laughs> wow. Incredible. It's unbelievable. Who made it? Whoever it was must have had the Eversource. It's the only explanation for the copious amount of rare materials they used to build it. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. We need to find Aiden. He's got our flint and steel, and he's up to no good, but we're gonna stop him. He mentioned an inn, right? That seems like our best lead for finding Aiden so far. Agreed. The Blaze Rods already have a head start, so we need to get moving. We don't have any time to lose. Hello! It is nice to meet you! Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here, <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. What, uh, what was that all about, with the whispering and the sticks? Ah, shh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. None of that here. It's <laughs> not stick allowance day, after all. So why would I, a, a humble innkeeper, have sticks? <laughs> Seriously, just put all of that out of your mind. It's, it's not important. It was just friends exchanging pleasantries. <laughs> wow, dude, could you be more suspicious? Come again? You're just giving off a real shady vibe, and the more you protest, the shadier you seem. Just saying. Well, if I wanted your opinion on my shadiness, I would have asked for it. As I didn't, please throw your shade elsewhere. Was there something you needed? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. Some punks are trying to steal the Eversource. You know anything about it? Really? You come up to me interrogating me about some outlandish nonsense, and then you want to discuss someone stealing our city's most valuable treasure? I don't want any part of it. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, is our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? Look, I know you talk to them, Milo. Just spill it. 
Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps. Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. We'll be fine, Ivor. Guys, I think I found the blaze rods. Oh, no. What are they doing? People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Now, whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene the builders! Atrocious. Everyone, everyone, please. I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts. Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to the Eversource at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. By getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Sorry, I'm going with Milo. Me too. Quick, follow me! Wait, wait! I'm hey, coming hey, peacefully! That's them! They're getting away! After them! Jesse, run! Get up! Run! Can't think she's over there! Come on! Where are you going? Let's get up! Or take go! Just in here, yes. There's nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? You can't let him get away. Milo, I solemnly swear that I will never tell your secret to anyone else. Fantastic. Philippe? Right this way. This is Build Club. Whoa. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. It can be difficult, it's true. Many items have to be snuck under the noses of guards. So you're thieves, then? <sighs> If you want to get black and white about it, then yes, I suppose we sometimes need to resort to less than legal methods to get our materials. That's pretty harsh, Jesse. They're just stealing from the rich tyrants in charge. That's like good stealing. You see, one day a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden. So I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. 
But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's dungeons. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Geez, that seems pretty harsh for such a tiny crime. Oh, but it's not tiny. I was charged with egregious wasting of resources, and in Sky City, that's one of the worst crimes of all. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. But at least you are here, yes? I would like to save Lucas. And Ivor, I guess. You said something before about having a plan, a different way into the palace to save our friends? Yes, I did say that. Hey, Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. I'm sorry to come barging in like this. We just really need your help. And we're going to give it to them, right, guys? These aren't just any outsiders. They're the ones who built that magnificent bridge into town today. Dude! What? Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. They say they're builders. Oh, perhaps a challenge? All right, then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Yeah, build something. Now, see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. Just point out a crafting table, and Jesse will give you a show. You'll see. Fine. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from... You're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please, use them for your build. Oh, thanks. Let's see what we've got to work with. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. Darn. I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. You guys seen these before, huh? Huh? What are... I mean, what do you call those where you come from? They look heavy. And super shiny. These are iron boots. Oh. <gasps> I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah, sorry. we're sorry. Hey, these things happen. Apologies totally accepted, dudes. Now, uh, how about that whole getting us into the palace thing? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! <laughs> I'm overwhelmed at the thought. Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the Founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every night, the Founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry. But it is far too high. If we can find a way through that window, 
The Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Guys, how high it is doesn't matter. What? You just have to start thinking like real builders and craft a solution. Yeah, like a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. Jesse, we will never forget this day. Okay, my friends. This should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Freeing the Eversource for the people! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking. Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall. I know. I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already... Whoa! Whoa. Jesse! Jesse! Petra! Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. So glad you two are okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we obviously can't abide! We're here to get it first! Fantastic! That is what we are doing as well! Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? I mean, I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? He's cool, Ivor. Don't worry. Lucas, Ivor, this is Milo. He's the leader of an underground rebellion. Wow. That's pretty cool. A pleasure. Yeah. Hi. Sure. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. More than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully, no one will miss one dead bush. Perfect. Huh. <gasps> a cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius! Genius. This must be where the founder crafts things for the people. Hmm, I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special.
I'm getting a very door vibe from this. Yeah. What happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah. Didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Source, here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is. Is that a monster? That's not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So the Eversource makes these spawn egg things. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah, I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Pretty weird. What? The Eversaurs. It's just a chicken. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. But that clucking thing is what we came for! Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! I knew it! I knew you were here to steal from me! She's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. The Eversource doesn't just belong to her. It belongs to everyone. This chicken belongs to the people! Don't try to stop us! It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! No, 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 no. You don't get to spin it like this, Aiden. You're the bad guy! 
You just expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves, and here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep, afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the found Oh, you got me, Lucas? I got your back, Lucas! Stay down, Eat Lucas! This. Thanks, Jesse. for yours. Land! Impossible. That's impossible. Jesse? There! Can we get to it in time? It's gonna be close! Doing okay over there? I just, I, I can't believe it. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. It was too dangerous. A, a lost cause. I just don't understand. Why did you never even look or send someone down? I, I was too cautious. I didn't want to create false hope, and I was so certain that the only thing down here was death. It's all just so enormous, just, just grass everywhere. I can barely process what I'm seeing. What, what do I do now? Once my people see this, I... You can bring all your people down here. They, they won't have to, to petition for resources or any of that stuff anymore. I... I suppose you're right. Yes, we have to go back up and tell them. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Sign. Your city's probably in big trouble right now. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden! My poor subjects. This is terrible! 
I'll do it, but I'm doing it for your people, not for you. I... yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, getting back up. Back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Huh, that'll work. What is it? We need to start gathering dirt as much as we can. Uh, how will that help? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? Once I get my flint and steel back from the blaze rods, it'll be my ticket out of here. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. attacked by monsters now. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. Quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Hey, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. See you on the other side. Hey, <laughs> like that, huh? Blade Rod! Aiden has taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! We need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Got any potions of invisibility? Here! Can't stop what you can't see. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You 
killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't shut up! Now you listen here! Hey, jerkwad, leave him alone! I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the founder with you? Ah! What the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just... die already! Should've left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right, and that is why you're gonna lose. Coming with us. Th th thank you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly. Jesse! So much for the blaze rods. You retrieved the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. We need to get out of here. Falls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. But there's nothing but monsters up here. You all just need to trust me, okay? 
everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Jesse has done nothing but help us so far. I will show you just how much I believe in Jesse's word. Thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different. And scary. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. Uh, uh, oh. Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere! Those idiots. Now, this is just speculation, but I'm guessing they have some regrets. Knew they wouldn't get away. Yeah, I feel a little bad. They just got in over their heads. Way over. Aiden. Oh, uh, hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. So sorry to cause all that trouble. And I can see where it all went wrong. I've uh, got some regrets, to say the least. You really screwed this one up, Aiden. Big time. I know, I know. Look, you don't have to worry. I'm done. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah. That's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Uh, maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky! It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow! Those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't gonna solve anything. It will if I win! Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! W what do we do? Who are we supposed to listen to? Of course the people can build, but we need a system, some rules. Rules aren't bad. Guys, Milo is right. You need to take risks. If you don't, you'll just keep doing the same safe things over and over again, and you'll never grow, you'll never live. But what if we die? Okay, I won't lie to you. You could die, but doesn't that make it even more awesome? No, wait, please. It's dangerous. Well, my friend, this is truly the beginning of a new era. Your deeds will be remembered around here for a long, long time to come. Many years from now, we will still reminisce about the great things that Jesse did 
Just try and play nice with the founder, okay? I know you don't always get along, but her heart's in the right place. Well, my friend, it looks like this is where I must bid you farewell. I have a lot of work ahead of me now, and I can't wait to start. Thank you again. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh. Just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Well, you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we gonna do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Now that you don't have to run everything yourself, maybe you could use the time to travel. There's a lot to see. Yes, that's a rather nice notion. How would you like to go explore some of those, um, very tall vertical rocks? We call them mountains, usually. Lovely. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, that's a boy's name! Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, oh, I just saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. Whew, what a huge relief. I was worried we'd be stuck here forever. Ugh. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No! A little. I was just hoping for a real treasure, is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys. Let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here when we've been. They'll never believe it. it. That's not what I was expecting.